Hello everyone, my name is Dustin Lint, and today I'm here with a uh, game that I'm finding a lot of fun with, or having a lot of fun with, I should say, called uh, Dungeon of the Endless. Uh, in case you don't know what it is, it's currently on a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, early access on Steam. Uh, you can either buy into it for uh, 13 bucks for the basic package or 20 bucks for the uh, founder pack which comes with a few extra goodies but most people will probably only need to go with the uh, endless pack I mean pixel pack which is the basic and Dungeon of the Endless it is a game made by Amplitude Studios and basically what it is uh, what I've come to understand is is a roguelike dungeon defense game and you'll understand what I mean by dungeon defense. It's kind of like a tower defense, but with a dungeon. And basically, you have a team of heroes. Uh, you have to protect a generator. And you have to escape the dungeon after you've crashed. It'll be easier to explain once I uh, show you what's going on. So, here we go. And I really like the art of this game. It's... And... It's just a really interesting game in general. Like, I like this whole pixel art thing. Yeah, how it's like kind of 3D pixels. I really like that. And then, hmm, what does that mean? Oh shit. Okay. And basically, we're one of the few people that survived that plane crash in his or spaceship crash in a escape pod and. These are our uh, heroes, quote unquote, and basically what we have to do is go through this dungeon that we've crashed into and keep this generator right here protected at all costs. Our heroes, uh, we have different heroes. They have their own backstories, but I won't go into the backstories. Um, and they have their own things that they can do, and there's a few very important things about this game. One, your resources. Currently, there's only technology and food. Technology you use to get turrets and uh, these basically build structures. Uh, I don't. You don't start off with many structures. You start off with the basic defense and uh, technology and uh, food resource gathering uh, structures. And food you can use for multiple things. You can use it to heal your guys if they're getting hurt, level them up to make their stats better, or you can use it to recruit new heroes. And the only, the other really important resource to mention here is dust. Dust is basically your life source. Um, and dust is used for a couple things. You can use it to power up rooms like I'll show you in a second. You can explore these rooms and um, I found uh, this thing here and you can uh, light up rooms to prevent uh, enemies from coming in because every room that you light up is one less enemy you have to worry about and I think I'm gonna start off with uh, a technology resource mod and um, I usually like to just have one person go off in one direction I like to keep Whoever has the highest um, wit on resource modules because that helps you produce more of that resource than normal. Anyways, uh, so let's continue searching this dungeon. Let's keep going straight up. And I have enough dust to light up two rooms. And there's already hostiles, which is not great. Uh, but luckily, it's not too bad at the start. Right now, in the current build, Hmm. Wow, he's actually kind of getting low. Okay. I didn't want to use food because food is very scarce for me right now. And now I will light up this room and probably build a food module. And I can keep going straight up, so I think that's what I'll do. But first, I'll uh, build a couple of turrets. And these turrets will help me kill things faster. Um, and let's see what's up for us ahead of here. And... Okay, I have enough dust to light up this room now too, but I really want to get... Oh, and you can press space to pause, so it's kind of like turn-based, action-y, but 
it's not turn-based at the same time. Like, you can take time to plan out what you want to do. Like, um, now I want this guy to come back here, and I want this guy to come back in here to help defend the location. And these guys are a real pain in the ass because they'll just ignore everything and go straight for the crystal and try and attack that. But luckily, he didn't make it that far. And now, um, I have a little bit more technology. I have some food. I could level up some people, but I want to save that food for uh, recruiting someone if I happen to find someone. So instead, I'll just use technology to upgrade these spots into having these smaller modules for weapons or... If I had the things for these, uh, then I would, could get those. But let's continue on here. And the way I'm going to structure this, these episodes, is I think, ooh, I found a new item. Um, is I'm going to leave it to an episode per floor because each floor can take about half an hour. Which oh, sonic gun? I don't. Yeah, none of my guys can use the sonic gun because they're both melee guys. That's another th important thing: is you can't equip things on guys that. As far, well, at least as far as weapons go so far. Um, and, okay, I'm going to want to retreat back here. What is attacking my guy? I didn't even see what was attacking him. Uh, we'll see in a second, though. Um, okay, a weird bug thing. Hmm. What else was there? Okay, that's not cool. Okay, so I'm going to have to... Kill this laser thing real quick and then kill that guy. There we go. I got another dust. And I think that's the end of the waves. So I'll send him back down to technology. Because I find I my strategy right now with the current build is I like to put, keep someone on technology. Because technology seems to be important. And food can just keep going at its normal rates. If I happen to be able to build more modules for it, then that's what I'll do. But otherwise... I'll just leave it to its own devices. And, oh, another wave, alright. Pea Shooter, another weapon I can't use. I have played this game a little bit, so I do know what I'm doing for the most part. But, like I was saying before, I'm probably going to keep this to an episode per floor because each floor can take up to a half an hour or even longer sometimes. And, I don't know. I don't want to make the episodes too long because... I, I don't know about you, but I cannot stand watching anything longer than half an hour. Like, even I have a hard time keeping my attention on a half an hour long episode. Okay, so I have enough dust. I can power up this room. But I don't want to necessarily be investing too much into powering up rooms. Because when I do that, then... Uh, oh, and with each module, major module, you get uh, it costs more to build the next one. Uh, then there's these merchants that you can come across that can allow you to um, get new items for your guys but at the cost of dust and if you go below your threshold then rooms start powering down which is not a good thing especially if you were relying on those rooms for things and um, oh I found a new blueprint um, oh and more enemies Okay, so I'm going to want to go here, and I'm going to want to send the other guy over here. And there we go, okay. And, oh, he's going to repair that module, because he can do that. And uh, I'm going to, oh no, I want you on technology. And that was a dead end, that was a dead end. Okay, let's go over here. And, okay, so I can go further this way, and, oh, more hostiles. Uh... So let's just go back in here. Oh, there's a lot of baddies. And this guy is not looking too hot right now. I might want to invest in... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to invest in leveling each of them up once because it usually doesn't take more, I've found, than 30, maybe 35 food to recruit a guy if I come across a person. So... I was able to upgrade each of them once. Their max levels can be 5. And... Oh, excuse me. I'm getting a bit of a dry mouth here. Um, and basically, what I, the reason why I'm running around in this dungeon in the first place is I need to find the exit so I can take the generator up to the next floor so we can... Oh! That was rather convenient. Uh, but the question is, do I want to leave right now? 
I kind of don't want to. Let's see how much more... Oh, and here's a merchant. Uh, I probably won't buy anything from him unless it costs less than eight. Um, or I could sell... I could sell these things to get something from here. As much as I hate to get rid of these things, I don't have any use for them right now. And what I could really use is something to make my guys better. A lot better, actually. Um, I like this for him. And I didn't go below the threshold, so now he's a lot stronger. Let's see what's up here. And, okay. Let's see how you against all this jazz. Wow, you are just wrecking. What? No, you are... kill the thing. Kill it. Kill. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to continue going on my way here and see what's over here. Another dead end. That's cool. And more hostiles. Okay. That's cool. No, oh, no. Follow the stupid crystal charger. That's why I'm going to call these guys crystal chargers. And, okay, so that was the end of that way. I think I'm going to level up this guy again just because I haven't run into anyone and I have the uh, stuff to spare. And I may as well. I have enough food to spare. Um, let's see here. Okay, so I pretty much explored everywhere around there. Not sure if I want to go this way, but I will anyways. And let's see what's... Oh! Oh! No, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, I really didn't want to do that. Um, you can just defend there and hopefully he will be okay there. Yeah, he'll be fine. And let's see what's over here. They seem to like to target whoever's the weakest link. Which I'm not a huge fan of, but... You know, you can only do so much. And, wow, he just wrecks things, though. Like, seriously, it, like, he slices through them like butter. Apparently there's still some guy lurking around. I don't know where. Oh! Right there. Is that the last guy? Yeah. Because when a wave ends, then if there's any damage to your character, they heal up immediately, basically, which is a really good thing. Um, okay, so that was another dead end. Uh, let's see what's over here. Just out of curiosity, another dead end. So this floor might be over right about now. And, uh, oh, there's lots of hostiles coming. Oh, no. Get through those guys quickly. So I can... Save modules. Okay, and... Is that the end of the wave? Yes, that is the end of the wave. And I could explore a little bit more. Do I want to, though? I will, because I'm greedy. I haven't found anyone other than the merchant yet, which is rather surprising. Maybe I'll find him over here. Because there, I usually find there's at least one person and then one, um... One person and one merchant at the very least on each floor usually, I find. Okay. He might... Uh, he he's doing okay. He's doing okay. Yeah, he's absolutely fine. Uh oh boy. Oh, I have a lot more power. So let's power up some rooms. Oh, I wonder if the merchant's probably dead by now. Because if you don't look after people, they'll probably die. And let's see here. Uh, some more hostiles. Not cool, but oh, I got a new module. A couple new modules. Increases the damage of heroes in the room and heals heroes over time in the room. I like those a lot. But for now, let's uh, just get some turrets in here. 
And let's get you back in here. And actually, you can go up in here. This guy's strong enough that I... Oh, I lost that module. But I think I'm done with this floor anyways. So... I, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, why are you so weak? Okay. Um, so, uh, it would have been so nice if I could have just had that blocked off. Um, okay, what I'm going to do here is... Oh, there's still guys lurking around. Okay. Actually, yeah, that thing's going to be dead. So, we're going to have this guy carry the module. Or the thingamajigger and now I'm gonna see if I can make it past this floor because I usually have a lot of trouble with just two people so we'll see if I can do this and another danger with uh, carrying the thing out is it powers down rooms that are behind it which is a real scary proposition and I can't light these ones up okay I also don't like that a whole lot. Okay. You... You should be able to make it there. Okay. You should be fine. You should be fine. You should be fine. Yes. Okay. Floor completed. And with that, I will end the first episode. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm looking forward to doing the next floor and seeing what there is to uh, offer. And thanks for your time. Until next time, have a good one.